Hi, I'm John. I'm the developer of the Python server and the Python client and the future Python clients. The one filming is Marcel. Hello. He's doing our hardware. And uh, we just finished one of our little projects, which is the Adafruit NeoPixel 60 LED strip, uh, created by Marcel. And uh, I created a little interface for it on the Python server. So um, we're going to show you um, how it's working at this moment. So if you follow me. Over here we have an, uh, the LED strip. Uh, Marcel has cut it in 60 pieces and extended it so it uh, get to a broader range. It's uh, attached over here to an Arduino Uno, uh, which is uh, powered by a uh, power supply unit over here. Over here. It's giving uh, 12 volts at this moment. Uh, the wires are going over here, over here, over here. Here are some diodes who uh, lower the voltage to around 8 volts. 8.3. 8.3 volts. And over here we have two voltage limiters. One for the Arduino, because the Arduino is being powered uh, also by this 12 volt uh, power supply. And uh, over here for the LED strip to give it a 5 volt it uses to lighten up. Uh, also attached over here is a little temperature sensor and we ha also have an uh, LDR and light dependent resistor which is over here behind this lamp yeah uh, the Arduino also has an uh, it's been talked to through I square C, which we also have a cable for, it's over here. Uh, this, is this one, it's a telephone cable, and it's uh, 60 meters long, and uh, it carries the, the clock and the data signal for uh, I2C. It has uh, a ground wire, and it also does a uh, 5 volt uh, pull up, so we can uh, transmit signals over 60 meters. So we, we now are going to take a little walk to um, the Raspberry Pi we are using over here. As you can see we have a little bit of cable here, it's uh, part of the 60 meters. It's going up and up and up and up and up. Here to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, this uh, Raspberry Pi is uh, about five meters from the room, but we have attached a 60 meter cable. Uh, it is powered by a um, uh, computer supply unit, a computer PSU with this difference 3.3, 5 and 12 volt. As you can see, you know, red light is on, green light is on, so we know it gives power and it's attached to the wall socket. Well, let's show you what it's all about. Uh, as you uh, can see over here, it's the LED strip. There's something. Well, we just finished, so sorry. Uh, by the way, this is a Marshall's uh, hobby room uh, with a lot of stuff, so you can show around and I will sit here. Um, we have the Python server, of course, which uh, is going to send uh, comments to the Arduino over there, and we're going to do it through the web interface. Uh, I've already added the device to the server. Over here we have a little interface, and the last couple of days we have uh, created um, oh, oh, some extra interface parts, as a slider over here, um, on and off switches, and color picker. And the first thing I will do is turn the device on. I hope you can see it. And that's with a little button over here. Which says on. Or turn the light on or off. So over here I will turn it on. Well, first I will turn some other lights off. I'm sorry. Uh, 
this one, this one. So it's now quite dark over here. Uh, over there we have the LED strip, and I will press on right now. As you can see, it lights up quite fast. Uh, turn it off again. Uh, turn it on again. And it's all done through the web interface of the Python server. Um, I will show you a couple of features we've built in. And that is uh, that we can, of course, set the color. So I want uh, to show you a green color. So in the color picker, I will over here go to green. And then I will use the button set to set the green color. And as you can see, it's green. I will change it to red. And then we go to blue. So it's changing colors like it should, and um, oh, quite fast. Uh, what I will show you right now is that we also had uh, some other functionalities like fading, uh, some random fading, where different uh, LEDs will uh, go to another color. Uh, we're gonna show you uh, a wipe uh, movement uh, in color changing from the left and to the right. And then we can show you the speed in which we are going to do it. Um, what we will show first is just uh, the fading of the color. So as, as you can see it's now bluish. And I will go fade it to red. I'm fading it now to green and I'm going to speed it up a little bit so if you can take a look over here over here we have a slider uh, with a slider you can uh, change the speed of the fading the higher the number the slower the faded will be and the lower the number the faster it will be so I will show you an extremely uh, slow fading. It's going to 254. It is greenish and we go to purple and we fade it. As you can see it fades slower than uh, I just uh, showed you. I will go a lot faster. Let's say the fastest, and we go to blue, no green, and there I'm going to fade it again. As you can see, it's now a quite well, a lot faster than it was previously. And blue. Um, I will show you the random fade. Uh, with the random fade. Um, some random pixels are, or LEDs are taken to uh, put it in another color. I will create it a little bit slower, about 42. Let's go to green. I'm going to do a random fade now. Um, maybe a little bit slower, blue. As you can see, it takes some random pixels to change the color. A little bit faster, the last one. Let's go to yellow. Yeah, make it yellow. Okay, uh, the next functionality is uh, to wipe. We can wipe uh, from uh, left to right and from right to left. And uh, it's now yellow, so we go to uh, blue. Uh, a little bit faster wipe. So if you take a look right now, it's going to fade to blue. Maybe another color, you can see it a lot better. So it's now going from the outside to the inside, from left to right, and now we're going from right to left with green, from inside to the outside. And also this can be done at different speeds. This sequence can be interrupted at any time or any mode you want. So I'm going to play a little bit with uh, some uh, random fading. And um, I will create a very slow, uh, very slow uh, sequence. 
we first go to red, I do some random fading. Then I'm gonna put some other colors in it. A little bit green. Some blue. Some purple. A little bit white. And well, I like to speed it up. There it goes. Let's go to yellow again. Red. So as you can see, you can do a lot of uh, fun stuff with it. Uh, in the server later on, you can um, uh, put some comments in it, uh, like uh, when it's eight o'clock, fade it to red, or when it's uh, having some music, just do some random color fading. Also, another nice feature we are building in is that the light can um, follow the temperature in your living room. The idea behind this is when it's cold, it should give a, a nice warm color, so you will have a, a warmer feeling. And when it's um, hot inside, it will give you a, uh, a cold white color to give you a little bit of a um, well, more colder feeling. Like you see over here, we have light color follows temperature. And um, as you can see right now, it's a little bit red. Well, a lot of red. Hmm. And I will change it now to follow the temperature here in this room. As you can see, it's well not this that warm over here, so it will give a little bit of a more warm color. And it's based now on well about 19, 10, 20 degrees. The strip is not calibrated yet, so it, it's given a lot more red than it should be. And I think on the movie it will show you a little bit purple. Um, you can turn it off anytime, and when you turn it off, it will change back to the original color you've set, uh, set it to. So I will now turn it off. And now it's red again, like it was before. Also, another nice feature is uh, when... I will turn the light back on now. Uh, when you lose power in your house, um, the settings are destroyed. Um, but Muscle has built in a quite a nice feature in the chip itself. It stores it in the EEPROM of the chip. And that's the, the last color uh, it was using. So, I will create a green color. I will set it to green. And uh, I will store it here. Save current light as default. And store. So we now will create a little power outage. By pressing off on this power supply unit. Over here. Here it is. Let's uh, press off, and as you can see, it's turned off. Also, the Arduino is turned off, and uh, this little LED for the main power is not uh, lit on. Uh, the LEDs on the Arduino are off. So, it's now an hour later, and we put uh, some power back on. So, I press on again, on the supply unit. And here it goes. Back to the color it we started at. Green. I hope it looks green on the screen. It doesn't. Let's go to red. As you can see, you now have a red color. We now do a power outage again. Well, let me first store it. Power off. The light is off, anything is off, and I will turn back on the light again, and it's red like we stored. So, uh, I hope I've told uh, everything that's about the LED strip at this moment. Yeah? Yeah. Well, uh, this was the little, uh, well, I2C LTS LC LED strip, like Muscle named it, and... Um, the source code is available on uh, Bitbucket and um, go to the website, you will find the link over there. Bye!